Uh, what about chi? There's another word that gets thrown about in uh, Japanese tradition. Maybe they call it ki. Indian tradition, maybe they call it prana. <clears throat> Probably all talking about the same thing. So what do we think about that? What is chi? Life energy. Okay. Any other definitions? I agree with that one. Do you have any other thoughts about what she is? It's life force. It's, to me, it's like how do you how do you embody your physical body with spirit? Okay. That's what it is to me. Where does chi come from? Oh, uh, let's see. You have ancestors chi, and it comes from food, mm -hmm. and it comes from mm -hmm. things like going to the ocean and going to the mountains, and um, it comes from Exercise and sunlight and okay. At its core, she comes from two places: the food and drink that you consume, and the air that you breathe. At its core, we talk about life force. You don't have a whole lot of life if you don't breathe, mm -hmm. and you don't have a lot of life if you don't eat. And uh, sort of along the notes, when when a patient comes in and we identify that they've got some sort of deficiency of their chi, the first thing that we talk about is your diet. That's the number one most important thing. You don't have enough chi, what are you eating? Uh, so that's how important that is. There are some other things about it. She mentioned ancestor chi, and so there is a connection between uh, the, your parents and what you inherit through them, kind of that uh, idea of a uh, DNA genetic link. Uh, and I like to think about that ancestor chi more like the vessel that's in your dantian that you store your chi in. So if your parents are robust and healthy and free of disease and have great chi themselves, then you'll have a great big box to put your chi in. But if they're not, then maybe your box is a little bit smaller. And maybe if you have some sort of genetic disease, maybe your box is kind of misshapen. So that's more like ancestor chi. Um, for the most part, we don't think that you can really do much to improve your ancestor gene, you sort of get what you get. You can't really get more of it. So that's uh, something. So that's why the box idea kind of stuck in my head a little bit, more like a box. But your daily chi, you can affect hour to hour and day to day by decisions you make about lifestyle and what you breathe, how you breathe, when you breathe, what you eat, how you eat, when you eat. All these things can directly affect the amount of chi in your body. So <clears throat> if you believe in the energetics of our process, of the body work process, or of the medicine that you're doing, it's sort of incumbent upon you then as a practitioner to have good chi yourself. If you think there's a connection between that, then you should have probably good chi on draw. So that's kind of what we, we believe. Okay.